Okay, this is the beginning Greek class. I'm going to leave that up there. We'll, we'll do this first, just to give you a shot through it as a review. Any questions or anything, comments before we start? Going at a acceptable pace? Yes. Okay, all right. Just want to make sure. I don't want anybody to feel over, over, overwhelmed. Too late. Too late. <laughs> no, Daniel. This isn't the first class. Of <laughs> the first lecture. But we are going to go back to the beginning, and we're going to say the alpha bet. We'll say the sound, then we'll say the word. Let me get the right place here. Yeah, that'll work. You, you can see it there. People online can also see it. Okay. We'll begin at the top there. Say it with me. A alpha B beta G gamma D delta E epsilon Z zeta A eta Theta, I, Yota, Kappa, O, Lambda, M, Mu, N, Nu, Xi, A, Omicron, P, R, Rho, Sigma, I, 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 So, it sounds pretty good from up here. What are you laughing about? <laughs> <laughs> Omega. 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 Oh, oh means awful. Oh. <laughs> Roll your O. Roll your O. Omega. Oh, Omega. 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 Okay, any questions or comments on this? Yeah. We'll do it one more time. We've got time to do this. Down there a little bit. Ready? Begin. A, alpha, b, beta, g, gamma, d, delta, e, epsilon, z, zeta, a, eta, theta, i, yota, kappa, o, Lambda, mm, mu, mm, nu, xi, a, omicron, p, r, rho, sigma, tau, u, upsilon, phi, P C O Omega. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go to. Uh, Got to get on the right page here. Let's go over here. Get to Greek page and study materials tests page. And there we go. So that's just. Uh, oh, that's what we have here. Yeah, that's what you have in your hand. Okay. So ecclesia, hey, and 
Uranos. Where's that first vocabulary page? Fourteen, um, maybe. Oh, is fourteen the first one? I was thinking there was one so. before that. Uh, there's one page that's got like seven or eight words, and, and it says vocabulary, but it's just a very short one. Nine. Where we got started. Oh, yeah, so they're just that short one on nine. Eighteen. Yes. Eighteen. Yes. Eighteen and nineteen. Oh, okay. Fourteen, eighteen, and nineteen. That's, yes. There you go. And I know there's two next to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would work a lot better if they're in alphabetical order. <laughs> Actually, my bagsters that I have on my computer, I made a page on, that I put on a clipboard, and it'll say, Alpha begins on this page and oh. ends on that page. <laughs> Beta begins on this page, ends on that page. Well, I don't have any trouble with Baxter explaining that. Well, the reason I do it is because I don't want to have to scroll down through 275 pages to find it and have it scroll. Oh, 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 this I way I can just go up. right to the page yeah. and begin looking at that letter, delta, gamma. Yeah, and it'll say it begins on this page and ends on that page. I'm going to divide it up it's into... It's not the same pages as the Baxter's has in it either. Isn't it? No. Oh. Baxter's page might be 75, and, and in the PDF it might be 214. Right. Although it's page 75 of Baxter's, did it? But oh, the, but yeah, because the PDF. The yeah. PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break mine into each PDF is going to be just one letter. Yeah. Then I'll be able to just go to that PDF, go to that PDF. Just In fact, I can use this tablet to do that. I can tell it to, you know, open open the delta for me because the thing we're doing in Romans is almost word by word pretty much 90% or more is word yeah. by word and it has to be Ecclesia hey and Uranos I got the first part. Ecclesia. Hey. And Uranos. Uranos. That diphthong. Yeah, I was looking for the diphthong, but I couldn't find it in here. Uranos. 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 You do? Well, don't tell anybody. I didn't. Let them look. <laughs> I'm letting them. Okay, good. I would just. just, 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 just. <laughs> when I first set this up, it went to the answer page. <laughs> I had to back it up to this page without the answers. I got them all. You didn't have to. Didn't have to. Yes, I had to. Yeah. 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 Everybody get the first one? Yeah. 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 Epsilon. Oh, let me look for it. Everybody else get them yet? I'll tell you. <laughs> Ecclesia should be easy Ecclesia. for you to remember. Yeah. Sure. Now, if you go online, what you're going to find is many of them will pronounce it Ecclesia. Ecclesia. In Spanish, it's Iglesia. Oh, yeah. Iglesia. Yeah. Iglesia Bautista. And the reason they do is because it's probably more of a classical pronunciation from classical Greek, because we get our word ecclesiology. So they think the Greek must be ecclesia. No, it's ecclesia.
Hmm. Everybody got the first one? Ecclesia A and Uranos. Next one is Mikros. Mikros Ecclesia A and K. Well, why hey? Why is that second A there? I don't know. It you'll find sense. out when you look at you'll find out when you look it up in your No. no. Uh, let's see. Mikros Ecclesia A and A. Cosmos. Micros, that should be pretty easy. We get words like microscope, micro management, micro this, micro that, micros. Which one's that? That second one. Micros, the first word, the second. Micros. I had an association for it, but now I've lost it already. Mm -hmm. Think of microscopic. Yeah. Okay, good. So, Micros Ecclesia, hey, and hey, Cosmos. got the second one yet? Not again, no. All right, we'll wait a few more minutes. we got plenty of time. Which word? Second. Ecclesia. It's the same as it's the same as the one up above. That's why I put that there because that should make it easier. Yeah, that was easy. That was that was a gimme. Yes it was. Ecclesia, hey, and hey, cosmos. You're not. Is that what you said the first word was? Uh, if anybody wants extra oh. credit, you can go through the <laughs> vocabularies and put them in alphabetical order and print it out for me. You'd probably get extra credit for that. <laughs> and that way it would be alphabetical. <laughs> so everybody got the second one? Yeah? I don't know if you ever heard the same thing. <laughs> All three of what words mean the same thing? Oh, well, that's. No, I don't. I don't understand that, but when I finally saw that. Ekpasaya, hey. Hen. How could I just say I should say M. Yeah. And then hey. Look at the bottom of the middle column, page 14, Daniel. Okay. That's that's one of those words that when you when they translated the received text, the Greek, to English. It was one of those that it said, do not add that word unless it is specifically there. It's a very strong denominator. Yeah. It's saying we're not talking about something general. It's an article. Nautical. An article? No, an article is things that float on the wall. That's an article. Oh, nautical. Oh, that's not an article. <laughs> I don't know. I've met some pretty gnarly sailors in my days. So they were pretty nautical. Yeah, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Okay, everybody got the second one? No. Nope. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or did it? 
Mm, okay, the next one. Pimpo. Technon pros. Prophetes. Prophetes should be a gib. Because in English it's a transliteration. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's Pimpo. Technon pros. Prophetes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, if I believed you, I would sell you this watch right here. <laughs> that watch right there. <laughs> yes, <I'd buy> it. <laughs> Right now you would. <laughs> that got you confused right now. That, and then you'd have a wrong hand watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I guarantee you with this watch you'll never be early. <laughs> <laughs> I mean really think about it. With this watch you'll never be early. I'm always late. Well, I don't know if you'd always be late, but I know you wouldn't be early. If you went by that watch. Okay, Pimpo, Technon Pros, Prophetes. Should we go on to the score sheet? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> sure, why not? Sure, why not? Wait, I have one word. Okay, no, she said one word, so we're going to give her a moment. One word takes more than a moment. Mm -mm. You and me. Prophetess. 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 It's transliterated, oh, okay. which means from the Greek to the English, it sounds almost the same in English. It's just arranged, the sounds are arranged to make it easy for our Western tongue. So Prophetess. I could say the reason I didn't alphabetize the vocabulary pages is because it would make it too easy. It would, uh, But it would be a big lie. <laughs> 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 I didn't do it because I put this textbook together for the for the high school class. Mm -hmm. They needed a foreign language. Yeah. And so I just picked a bunch of words and just put them in. I didn't think about alphabetizing it. And I could do it except for us. one problem. I notice when I run a find, it won't find the Greek words. Even if I put them in. Even if I cut and paste them into the find, it won't find the Greek words. Uh -huh. Find doesn't know how to speak Greek. No. Okay. It's for my it's computer, it's, it's English it's only. Okay. okay. So let's go on down to the next page, which is quite a ways down. Way Prophetes. down. Way down. Prophetes. There we go. We're almost there. Okay, Ecclesia, hey, and Foranos. Ecclesia is a church. And, 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 and is in, in yes. Uranos, Uranos. Heaven. heaven, a church in heaven. Yes. So Mikros means what? Small, small, small or tiny? Or micro, little, micro. micro, small, little. Yeah, just <laughs> so Mikros means a small or a little. Uh -huh. Ecclesia church, uh -huh. okay. in, in article the, the world. cosmos the world. world. Be a church in heaven or a small or little church in the world. And that's the, the one that they said, if it's not there in the Greek, don't put it in the English. See, if that's not there in the Greek, then don't put it in the English. Because you might be just talking about world. But that's specific. The world. We know, of course, that means this world. 
huge, but small or little church in the world. Next one is Pimpon Technon Pros Prophetes. Pimpo, I send Technon, a child, Pros, to Prophetes, a prophet. I send a child to a prophet. See, Prophetes, prophet. He probably was translating one and wrote it down on the other line. Yeah, this here. He could blame it on his bifocals. You know how when you get in the crack of the bifocals, things move. You gotta blame it on something. Erase that. Yeah, don't take responsibility for it, whatever you do. No, no, no. You're probably left handed. He told me there's enough people. He told me there's enough people picking on Daniel. He doesn't need to do it too. <laughs> okay. So, how did you do? Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close. Yes. Yeah. Pretty close. So, no. Church, I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the ecclesia? <laughs> I just <laughs> Actually, see, well, see, that's where you Spanish. You know, it's really funny because when I took the Greek class, I learned more Spanish than I did in high school because two weeks of Spanish, and my teacher and I both agreed I'd do better in band. <laughs> I'm serious, and it was a required class. It was a required class, but I was excused from it because I, I was too busy thinking about playing the drums or learning how to play the guitar to worry about this. Iglesia stuff, you know. <laughs> I, I figured there wasn't a Hispanic in the entire town wow. of Carnation. Not one. Mm -hmm. There, there were there were Swedes, Germans, uh, Irish, so but there wasn't a Hispanic person. The reason is, is because Carnation's on the west side. The the Hispanics all went over in the middle part of Washington because that's where all the fruit trees were. Oh, they yeah. could get jobs Boy. picking. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, in Yakima. Mm -hmm. And then down there's another town, I, I can't, name escapes me right now, but between those two towns, that's where 99% of the apples come out of Washington State. And so that's where they all went because they could go get a job. Yeah, you could pick. Yeah, you could pick. Yeah. And, I mean, they'd hire you. Uh, what kind of papers did you have? You just had to be there and be alive. Yeah. That was it, period. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're talking of, you know, we're talking about 50 to 70 years ago. Yeah. Back then, it was just, if the Hispanics did not come to Yakima, and I can't think of the other town, because it would Sula? be north, uh, no, it would be north of Yakima. Uh, I just never went there much. I always went to Yakima shopping. But... Uh, if the Hispanics did not come and pick, the apple industry would go under. Mm -hmm. yeah, Period. I mean, it would go belly up. Well, that's true as oranges in California. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because they'll get down there and get, you know, Manuel Labor. Manuel Labor. Yeah. Yeah. Ten cents a crate. Was that what it was? Well, when I picked when I picked strawberries, it was fifty cents a flat. It was 50 cents a flat. Oh yeah, you had to get down on your hands and knees to pick strawberries. You, you're not going to stand for eight hours a day over like this. Yeah, you did. My dad said, you bunch of lazy kids, you won't go out there and pick strawberries. And he came out and picked with us one day and he walked around like this for the next three days. He did. I mean, he couldn't even stand up straight. He said, I'm sorry, I'll never call you guys lazy again. Well, he did call us lazy because we were. We were kids. But yeah. we kept telling him, now it's killing us, you know, right. and uh, stuff. But I'll tell you what, they would go into Seattle. They would take buses from Carnation, 32 miles to Seattle, and pick up various Asians. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, them guys, it'd be 15 rows, 15 guys, you know. Actually, there'd be 30 guys, one on each side of the row. So 15 rows would be 30 guys, and they would start talking. And they wouldn't stop talking till they got to the other end. But when they got to the other end, every one of them had 15 or 20 flats. I mean, them guys, they're short. Yeah. You know, they're, they're short down there. So they, And they would just talk all the way and get to the other end. They'd have stacks of crates 
flat's that high? And I'm going, I'm not going to have a flat. What is going on? Wow. So, yeah. Okay, so, that, but I learned more Spanish taking Greek than, than I ever did because I never did take Spanish. Almost all of it, it sounds like Spanish. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, yeah a lot of it. So, okay, so I send a child to a prophet. All right, so, any questions or comments about these? I'm gonna yeah, where's your uh, in here? In here? This, uh, uh, he said it was the middle row on page 14, was it? Yep, it's 14. Page 14, the middle column, bottom oh. line. Oh, yeah, on the bottom. I got it. Ta, yes. A, ta. Mm -hmm. Ta, can, is that pronounced there? Mm -hmm. Okay, ta. Yeah. Ta, ta ta a. Oh, no. No, that's A. Oh, Eta. Say it again. Hey. Eta. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Ha, which is Omicron. Hey, hey, hey. hey. And then ta. And that, that has to agree. Now, we're not getting into that because we're not deep into the, <laughs> that deep into okay. it yet. But the article has to agree with some of the other words. See, like, it, it, no, no. That's another lesson. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go there. No, no, no. No. For yeah, our purposes, really we're trying to keep it very simple. It's yeah, just the article, the... Thank you. So this is a lesson in kiss? This is what? A kissing lesson? A uh, kissing <laughs> lesson? Keeping it keep simple? It simple. Oh, yeah. Uh, keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. And the other one of that is keep it short. Stupid. stupid. Yeah. The preacher said, my wife must love me because the whole time I'm preaching, she's doing... Kiss. Kiss. She must really love me because she does that the whole time I'm preaching. He said, thank you for the kiss. She said, you must love me. She said, no, what I was saying, keep it short, stupid. <laughs> kiss. Kind of like waving the, waving the calendar. You know. So, so yeah. while you're preaching, if we do that, you'll, you'll shorten it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, when I was pastoring in Ogden, it was a benefit to me that I did not know Spanish. Oh yeah. Because I came back to church and told one of the ladies in there that was Hispanic what the guy said to me, and you don't want to know what he said to me. I said, ma'am, I choose to believe what he said was, well, thank you very much, preacher. I so much appreciate you coming and sharing the gospel with me. But that's not what he said. What he said was not nice at all. And she started her head? She just went, when I told her what he said, she goes, oh. I said, I choose to believe. He was saying, well, thank you so much, preacher. I appreciate you. And so, But I knew what he called me. He said that I did know one or two, one or two words. He said that at church? No, he said it to me when I was out knocking doors. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Because the area around Ogden Bible Baptist Church is now probably 70, 80 percent Hispanic. Oh, yeah. Back then it was about 20 or 30 percent, but as they moved in, the Mormons all moved out. Right. Oh, they do. Oh. Yeah, they, I mean, Mormons that lived, they moved out. They, they were not going to stay there. Mm -hmm. And so that meant those, as they started moving out, the houses were empty, and you could get three or four families that would come in yeah. and rent a three or four bedroom house between them and live in. And so I knew a few words and, st and I happen to know the one that she oh, called me. But, <laughs> but I still choose to believe she was. She was in my fine. mind, I believe she. Right. In my heart, I believe she. Yeah, no, know. he, excuse me, he <laughs> was telling me how much he appreciated so me coming to you. So he was yeah. blessing you. He was blessing me, <laughs> yes. Well, remember what it says. It says, you know, when they revile you and, you know, Happy blessed are you mm -hmm. when they revile you and say evil things about you. Yeah, you okay, so anybody have any other problems? We settle that hey. That's yeah. the one that I was having trouble with. Hey. Yeah. How do you pronounce the one next to the hey? N. 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 If there was a backwards comma over it, uh, I mean, a comma over it, Definitely. that means do out with the H. It would be hen. It's hooked to the right, yeah. Yeah. Put an H it's, for me, that means out towards the end. So, for me, that's how I remember. If it hooks to the right, to me, that means let out the H. Let it out. 
N. But there's none over this one, so this would be pronounced N. 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 With no H. Okay. Any other words? That was fun. Pardon? That was fun. Yeah. Oh. It was just a little different. A little different. And like I said, these are very simple, you know, we're not we're not using the, the marks over the words or anything yet. Yeah. Not to that point. And actually for what I'm trying to teach you, you don't need to. You don't That's really need to. to I just want you to be able to get into the Bagster's Greek English and find out what those words really mean. Not from? what we think they mean in our modern vernacular today. Where do you get them online? Uh, you can get them online for less than 20 bucks. I downloaded a free one. In fact, what we're going to do... Get them on eBay. Yep. Okay. Go to main. Amazon. I'm going to go to Doc Van. I'm going to go to the group page. Then I'm going to go to the study materials. And I'm going to open Bagsters. And the ones, the ones on eBay, if they say they're by, printed by Zondervan, they're actually Bagsters. Bagsters. Zondervan is a printing company. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of Bibles. And they're good ones. And the thing with Zondervans and those, they're 99.9% .9 Bagsters. Yeah. The only difference, you'll find maybe 10 or 15 little things in there that are just, I mean, you know, out of 3,000, you'll find a couple that Bagster didn't have in there. But most of those I find you will find under the root word. Bagster doesn't have them listed Separate. individually. But they are they are the section in the book. Pardon? They just add an extra section in the book for those things. Yeah. See? Wasn't there a time? It would it would be like this. I'm gonna step over here. Um, ones online can't really see what I'm doing here. So now they wouldn't be able to see it. See it like Oh, it might be able to. Doc, wasn't there a time in history when the world spoke the Greek language? Uh, yeah, when the Bible was written. It was the common language. Koine means common. For most of the world, right? It, it, for all of the civilized world at that time. It would include include the Asian countries because they didn't hard, they knew they existed because they would get spices from them. But no, the the what we would call the or what they would call the civilized world, which would be basically around the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. And you know, some on up all the way. The Romans got all the way up into England. Um, let's see if I can get this where maybe they can see it. Um, so America's no, it's, 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 it's well, we've got we've got Baxter's pages in our in our do you okay in our lesson book here. You do? Yeah, uh -huh. you made yeah you made yes. pages for us. So, so uh, what I what I twenty three now, and I'll show you here on the screen real quick what I'm talking about is they would have this oh, word. Yeah. And, may, and maybe not have that one. Yes. A derivative of it. So maybe some of the lexicons might not list this particular word. But if you went to Strong's and found out this was the root word, and you say, well, that other one looks like it's probably, and if Strong says it's from that root, then you can go, okay, I'll go to the root word and see if maybe an, yeah, well, what do you know? There it is, right? That there. is page 23. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, far out. Look, look right here. All right. Here's, here's, here's page 23 in the book. Yeah. yeah. That's that's right where you are. Oh, oh far out. Okay, yeah, Thank you, Lord. It's Appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. And here's another one. See? That's even worse. That word's, <laughs> that word's listed, but this one is a derivative. So it may not be listed separate. In Baxter's 999 out of a thousand you're going to find them listed but there will be a little exception here and there you won't find that derivative listed I, I ran into one of those the other day in fact the one I ran into I can't even remember what it was even this word was not listed oh, wow. now, not, not this particular word but the one I was looking for it wasn't listed and when I finally or one I went to said it was a derivative of a word, and that wasn't even listed. Oh, wow. And I had to go clean down to the next page, or two pages, because maybe the first letter was not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the first letter or the first two letters were not there, and I, 
and I was going down and going down, and eventually, that's why Romans is actually helping me in my Greek class. Oh, it is, because we're going word by word. Yeah. See, like here, when we get to Romans 10, 21, that means that this particular explanation of the words in specifically in Romans 10, 21, it means that. It does, it's not this word with a different, almost the same, but a little bit different. And so when you hear me in Romans say, specifically in Romans 10, 21, it means this. To speak against or contradict. Mm -hmm. Gainsay or deny. See, and the other one means contradiction or a question or opposition or rebellion continually. And so, see, they're almost the same, but not quite. Not quite. To speak against, contradict, or in Luke 20, verse 27, it means to gain, it's, it's translated as to gainsay, but uh, then in John 19, 22, I think that's 22. To oppose. Yeah, yeah, it means to oppose. See, that's deny. Well, yeah, I can deny something, but oppose is stronger. I'm opposed to it. Yeah. You know? Uh, this as opposed to that. And so that's why when you hear me say specifically in Romans 2, 17 or whatever it is, I think that was one of them, it meant there was a specific meaning. The word fornication, okay? Some say it's physical, some say it's spiritual. Is it both? There's one word, no. Same root word with different endings. In the book of the Revelation, talking about, I think it was about Jezebel, mm -hmm. teaching the people in the nations to fornicate, the word in the Greek, that is the only place in the whole Bible that word is used. Mm -hmm. And by context, you can tell it's spiritual fornication. Mm -hmm. But then over in, in, I believe it was Romans, the word fornicant, fornicate is a slightly different Greek word. But just a different ending. And the only place it's used in the Bible is in that verse. That same stem. And it means physical fornication. Hmm. But it's the same stem? Same stem. Same stem. But with a different ending. And they are so different that in the Greek God had them put in Revelation, that word, the only place in the whole New Testament, that, word, that Greek word is used completely. And then the one for physical fornication, I think it was in 1 Corinthians. I'd have to look it up again. But that root word was the same root with a different ending. It's the only place used in the whole Bible. Hmm. And it means physical fornication. See, God wanted them, God knew somebody was going to say, oh, no, 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 that meant spiritual. That, that didn't mean physical, that meant spiritual. God said, well, I knew they were going to bring that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure when they write it out in Greek, they're only going to use that word one time in the whole New Testament over here, wow. and one time in the whole New Testament over here. And by context, you can look at it, and this one you could tell was spiritual fornication. Hmm. Because it was Jezebel teaching the nations and the, teaching the people, you know, to, to and, and by the context of the other verses, you could tell she was teaching them to go after false idols and go after false gods right. and so on. So obviously it's spiritual fornication. And so, and, and he says, and I'll cast the nations into the bed with her. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound too physical to me. How are you going to get Croatia in one bed? <laughs> you know, how are you going to get Russia? How are you going to get America in one bed? I know Americans are trying to do it yeah. because that's the sin of our day, even in our churches. 80% of our single people in our churches are fornicating mm. because it's just overlooked so much. Mm. It's overlooked so much. Well, come on, God understands. Oh, yeah, God understands better than we do. Well, I'm only human. Yeah, that's the reason you're doing it. It's only but it's never, yeah, it's only natural. I had a guy tell me, I can smoke dope because it's natural. I said, so is Belladonna. You want me to go out and get some? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to kill you dead on the spot, man. Smoke some Belladonna. It's just because it's natural. It's like the homosexuals that say, oh, no, I was born that way. I said, well, then that means if a child is born with a hole in their heart, we just got to let them die because they were born that way. And we can't fix it. Now they go in the womb. 
they do surgery while the baby's in the womb. But I mean, if you're gonna tell me it's okay to do it because it's natural, then we gotta let those babies die. I mean, they were just born with a hole in their heart. So, okay. So anyway, on this, sometimes those words, there's some of them that I just, man, I have a tough time finding them. And they'll turn out to be listed, but under there, or they'll be listed with the first letter missing, or maybe the first two letters missing. Mm. And as I'm scrolling down, I'm looking at the ones underneath, and I came across the word. Hey, Doc, go up about it, a couple inches, please. Okay. I apologize because I was wrong. That, was, is, that is not page 23. Okay. Uh, is that good enough? Up there, that uh, where, where it says profitable, generous, beneficent. Why well, that at least doesn't have the same uh, thing. How many it. lines from the top, Dan? It's not the same page. No. You're not on 23, are you? No. No, no. it isn't. It isn't. No, he doesn't. No. Have I that. misspoke on that. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm all the way up yeah. in. I'm all the way up in the alphas. Oh. No, I'm all the way up in the alphas. This is way. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, what what, what word this. what word are you looking at? This one right here. I'm trying to figure out. How Tell me what it is. Well, I don't that. know. Okay. It's, okay. <laughs> it's out oh, of it the comment. Uh, Agathos. 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 Uh, let me see if I can go some pages here. Profitable, generous. Page two, it's page two in Bagster's. Beneficial. Yeah. You know what that says? That's two, two up in this. Yeah, it would be a long ways up, and I can only go a third of a page at a time. Can you, can you find page 23 in there? I'm, I'm trying to scroll up a third of a page at a time. Let me see if I can trick this thing. Yeah, see, those are A and Let me see if I can trick this thing by going in the screen. Well, no, a know. third of a page. I've only got it set to a third of a page. Otherwise, it would go too far. That's yeah. Far. I'm looking for Yeah, see, I'm, I'm way down. I'm way down. Um, yeah, that's that's quite a ways past where we are. Yeah. Alpha. I, I'm, Alpha. I'm all the way to Unthos. Yeah, that's way way past where we are. Uh, let me, excuse me, I can do it much faster. Though. You're beyond us. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do it much faster over here by using the scroll bar. Mm -hmm. That does move it faster. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're at Agna? Rapido. Aga. Agathos. Agathos. Yeah. Page, it's actually Baxter's, the page number on Baxter, that's not, you want page two in Baxter's. Page what? The Baxter's is page two, it's okay, 23 in our page book. page numbers over here, I can't see oh. them. The Seven. It's not here, then. Six. It's not in his listings. So Four. 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 Three. Two. That should be it. There you go. Don't know. It's not. I don't know. I can go up. Yeah. I can go up over here. Yeah. Yeah. So you want other thoughts? You're close. Good. I got thoughts. I got that the thoughts right here. It's the, it's the fifth yeah. word down from the top. Okay. Let me go to the other. No. The other. Up a third. There it is. Right there. Okay. Good. Profitable. Good, profitable. Generous, generous, beneficial, okay. upright, virtuous. Mm -hmm. But then see, agathosune, agathosune, Agathos. means goodness or virtue or beneficence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And you see agathu is from the root word agathos. Mm -hmm. So if you saw agathu, you would go up to agathos and the first one. The first one. Agathos itself. Yeah. But down here, Agathu is genitive, singular, masculine, and neuter. Okay? Yeah. Right. So in other words, it's used, it could be used in a sentence that was masculine, you know, had a masculine uh, subject. Yeah, had a masculine subject. But then you could also use it in a neuter subject. 
is just like, I don't know how many people in here, but I've always called my cars she. <laughs> yeah, Betsy. Isn't that a woman's name, she? Yeah. I've had several Betsies, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, but is that car really feminine? Well, by doing that, it's easier to get married. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> neuter, neuter. Okay. But then, look at this. I'm going to soon, and I can't see it from here. Where are you? Um, Almost looks like Diablo. Sergio. Okay. Agathu. Okay. Agathu. Uh, yeah, it's it's too fuzzy. I can't make it out from here. Agatha. Okay, it's right here. Well, now this one is easier for me to see. Agatha. Agatha. Row. Yeah. Agatha. No, that was a girl. Agatha. Show me where you're at again. Agatha. 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 I see. I know. Agatha. 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 Thor. Thor. Yeah. Gale. Like a Thor Gale. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell if that was a new or mm -hmm. or a few. Yeah. And it looks like a roll. Yeah. Like a Thor. Nail. That's no. a Gale. Gone. Gale. Like a Thor Gale. Gale. Okay. How about the word right below that? Uh. I got I got this. I got thought. I got poor. Face. Yeah, it's too fuzzy. I can't make it. I got thoughts in mind. I got thoughts. Yeah, I got thoughts. I got thoughts you're on. I got thoughts. But like down here, Agathus. That's the word. You would look up the second one, Agathus, but it's from Agathos. So you would go up to Agathos. Okay. Yeah. And since it says it's from Agathos, you would use the first first ones. Okay. You wouldn't go to another one. You would use that one. Good, generous, beneficial. Good, profitable, yeah. generous, beneficial. Is that so? Beneficial. Beneficent. 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 Upright, upright, virtuous. Wins. 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 Then there's virtue and beneficence. Agathosone, which means goodness, virtue, beneficence. Okay? So you can see how some of these, in order to find what agathos means, you have to go over here where it says it's from. What's the, the Roman numeral 70 there, LXX? What's that designate? Uh, right. That means it, Agathos. in the... Uh, which was, it was called the, uh, uh, it tells you in the list at the beginning of Bagster's, it yeah. was called the 50th. Uh, it would be not, it would be 70. No, that so particular 70. word with that particular <laughs> ending may not have been used in the received text. May not. Oh. You'd have to go to a received text. So is that the version of the received Yeah, that's the version. LXS, it's called the 70th. And way up at like the front page of your Bagsters, it'll tell you what those exactly what they mean. See, like this one is from number seven, tablet F. That that particular uh, usage was used in there. How come we got page two instead of not page one of the Bagsters? Uh, because I just grabbed a couple of pages that so you could see what, see what they're like. Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to close that, but we're going to open this. Uh, nothing yet. I said I'm going to open this. And that is interlinear. It's hard to see. Okay. So let me scroll up. The reason I chose that page is that's John 1.1. 1, 1. Okay. Nope, it's not John 1.1. 1, 1. I need to go up. 
Oh, that's John. And let's go up to the top here. Well, that's some pretty crazy stuff. It looks like Greek to me. Mm, yep, it's all Greek to me. Yeah. Look how they spell John. Johanna. Oh, wow. Okay. It's because there is no J. Oh. If you oh, look, right. if you look in your, uh, uh, if you look in your, uh, alpha Greek alphabet, there's no J. There's no J in in Hebrew either. There's no J in uh, Spanish either. That's why they, when you want to go out and jump, See, jump in your Je Jehovah is from Yahovah. Yahovah. How would you say John in Spanish? Juan. Juan. See, Juan. There's no J sound. There's no J sound in the Greek either. Look in your uh, alphabet. You you won't find a J sound there anywhere. And so, uh, um, Yo, Yohan, Yo, Omega. See, yeah. Yo, Yo, Han, Yo Han. But here's the word that you had, prophetess. Prophetess, prophet. Yeah. Okay. The prophet. Okay. Yes. And here's John again, Johannes. Johannes. Baptizo. One, two, third line down. Baptizo. Baptism. It's a transliteration in English. It's not a translation. Baptism. Baptizo. Yedate. Water. Okay. I was looking at Simone. Yeah. 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 And so I just wanted you to see because it's King James in the in the last <coughs> column. Yes. yes. Yeah. I just talked to the guy in Texas that I he calls me once or twice a year and with questions and uh, uh, he was asking about or we were talking about a Greek English interlinear and uh, uh, personally he uses the NASB mm. New American Standard Bible which is a literal word-for-word -word translation where possible. After that, they tell you what it means, what he meant. Yeah, see, because they they did it. It's supposed to be the best word-for-word -word translation possible, and they do that where possible. Uh, does it kind of sound like it's the word of God in insofar as yes. it's correctly translated yes. kind of thing? Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of get that. That rings in my mind when I hear that where possible. So that doesn't make yeah. it easier to understand. Uh, not only that, it's written on a 12th grade level. And the average American graduate has a 5th or 6th grade yeah. education in English. Mm -hmm. That means, well, what about all those archaic words? Hey, those words in the new translations may be easier for you to understand the words, but you don't know what they mean. Because the average high school graduate has between 3,000 and 5,000 words vocabulary. That's what they're taught. Between 3,000 and 5,000 word vocabulary when they get out of the 12th grade. So, if it's written on a 12th grade level and you have a 5th or 6th grade education, I don't care if it's modern words, you're not going to understand it. Because you don't know what those words mean. Okay, so I just wanted you to see some of these words, they're easy, like a toss. A toss. He. A toss. Here's that ha, hey, ta thing again. Here the article means who. Okay. Oh. Who? And I'm going to go down a little bit more so we can see a few more. I'm trying to find some that we can make out. Oh, okay. Lucille. Lucille. It's not that I loose, it's 
I should lose. I should lose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should lose Here's the article again. Well, at this time it's top, but it has to agree with something else, so they have to put the new on the end of it. Tom, but it means the. That was one of the words that they were asking why that was used so much. You know, I was telling you about these ding dongs on that blog. Yeah. See here. Two. The. Two. Jordan. Why? Because you're not talking about the country of Jordan. Yeah. You're talking about the Jordan. Oh, hey, the good shit. Jews knew. Hey, that meant the river. Yeah. The, the Jordan. Yeah. And so, if it's in the Greek, you're allowed to put it in the English, but if it's not there, you're not allowed to add it. Because if you add it, it change, obviously changed the, the, the meaning. Baptizone. Baptizone. Doesn't mean baptize, it means baptizing. Baptizing. And you can see where the ending makes all the difference in, in the translation. Baptizo, baptize. Baptizone, baptizing. He was baptizing. Okay. And here's Yonanes. Yonanes. But it's still John. Yonan. Yonanes. John. I don't know if you can see it. If this I can is see it. Okay. Yonanes. So the name Johan is John? Yeah. Like Bach. John. Like Bach. In almost any language. Like yeah, you, like Johann Sebastian Bach. Yeah. Like How did you say it in Spanish? Juan. 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 See, there's no J in Spanish. You can so it's Juan. John. German you got Johannes. And this is Yo. Bach was German. Yo. Yeah. Who? He was a German, I believe. Johannes. Bach. You got uh, the conductor. Uh, composer. He was a composer. You want to you yeah. see the the. Generation of the name John in Europe in World War II. Go go watch the pianist sometime. The movie. About a guy named Spillman. Seriously? Yeah. His name was Spillman. Mm -hmm. So here's um, Omnos. Means lamb. Omnos. Omnos. Lamb. Omnos. Sounds almost like animal, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Omnos. Omnos. Okay. Opiso, opiso. Okay. After. See that stress mark there? Yeah. So it's not opiso, it's opiso. Opiso. It's over the i. Opiso. Opiso. Up one line, just about halfway across. Keep going. Right there. Cosmon. Cosmo. Cosmo. You had cosmos earlier tonight. Cosmo. Cosmo. Means world. Cosmo. Okay. And I was just trying to look at some more, maybe. The next word. The next oh. Word. That was called. Utas. Utas. See, the emphasis is here. U, ditho, u, tas. Utas. He. Utas. He. It's a derivative of hatu. Al tu. Al tu. Okay. But it's going to change from sentence to sentence is are you talking about the topic? Are you talking about the subject? You know. Doc, how do you say behold? I don't know. Oh, right there, yeah. Ide. 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 Behold the omnos. Behold. Article the. See, it's not behold lamb. It's behold the lamb. See, the article ha. Yeah, the article ha. Behold the lamb. Ide. It almost always in here when it shows an article, it shows a uh, mark above it. Ha. Yeah. Yeah, I can't make it up. up. Just look up one line, you see another one. 
Uh, yeah, I can just make that one out a little yeah. bit. That's the so problem when they when they scan them in for a PDF. It's many times it's just blurry. Mm. And, these books, and, and you've got to realize that's a blow up of a page that's only that and these, wide. And these books look fuzzy when you look at when you look at the text in them. Uh, but what he's got here is is actually clearer than what you see in the book. Yeah. So is on, it? on that yeah. line, Doc, on line twenty nine, is it is they don't use on the is it because there's no word for tomorrow or on the morrow. On the morrow. On the morrow. Yep. Take. Take. Epaul. Epaulion. 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 See the. You can see the mark. Yeah. If it went the other way, it would be Epaulion. But because that means keep the H in, because it's pointing it that way. Epaulion. Epaulion. Because that's the emphasis. That's the stress mark. A parion. A parion. A parion. Parion would mean the next AI is different. Yeah, um, yeah th but this is alpha upsilon. That's upsilon. It is? Yeah, I can see both sides of it from here. And a little bit of the bottom. Yeah, back here I can see that's a alpha upsilon. So you're saying, say it again? A power. A powerion. A powerion. A Okay. A powerion. Yeah. Okay. That makes Blepe. sense. Blepe. Blepe. Seize. Seize. I couldn't. I almost couldn't make that one out. See, that's a page that's only this wide, but now it's blown up this big. <laughs> Blepe. 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 What does he say that? On the morrow, seize John. Seize. Yeah. Seize. Seize. John. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sees so John. Tong. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Can't quite see. I'm, I wonder if I can Jesus. move this. I wonder if I can yeah. move that over. No. Uh, let me go to a different page and I might be able to get it over there for you. Uh, right half. Now, yeah, see, it went way up on the page That's because okay. I'm. Bring it up. It, it, it should be there. Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Sees John. Sees John. Right Jesus. Yesun. Yesun. Coming. Er common new. Er common on. Er common on. Er call. Sees John. Jesus coming. Menon. Yeah, they do that. Sees John. Jesus coming. Amen. Okay, the first part of the word. Er Epsilon rho. Yeah, er ka. Er, er ka. Stress. Er kamenon. Er kamenon. Er er what, what are you saying? Oh, is that is that? Omicron. That's an omicron. That is. Yeah. Yeah, from back here. It's the only thing it could be. Okay. Er kamenon. Coming. And so, on the morrow, on the morrow. sees John, Jesus, Jesus coming. Yeah. John saw, John, not saw, John sees Jesus coming. Jesus, John. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Yesu, Yesu, her coming on. Jesus coming. Oh, Jesus coming. Kedeh ha, omnos, behold the Lamb, to Theu of God, ha, who, because you can see it's pointing out. Uh -huh. Ha. Uh -huh. Who. Aaron. Taken. Oh, is that away? Away. away. Taken away. It's really fuzzy for me. Is it away? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I think it's away. The Lamb of God takes, who takes, takes away. away. Takes away. Takes, takes away. Takes, 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 yeah. Yeah. Takes away. Takes away. The and the other word, side would be, uh, let's see if I can get you to the other side. It says right there, the sins of the world. Yeah. You can see, see the, there's just a small part that's missing. <coughs> yeah. See, when, when I enlarge it or shrink it or whatever. It, right. It, right. Oh, it's right there. The, the sin. sin. Yeah. 
So that's H. Half. Uh, Amartion. Uh, we call it Hamartia. Theology. For sins? Yeah. Hamartion. Sin. Hamartion? The sin of the, and over here would be cosmos or cosmon or cosmu or something. Uh -huh. The sin of the world. Yeah. Let's see if I can move you over a little bit. Sees John. It's right there. Behold the Lamb. Let me move you over a little more. Sin of the world. Of God. Who taketh takes away. away. Takes away. Yeah. The sin of the world. Takes away. And then over Plus there. Move. Plus move. So how does the Greek define sin? I guess it doesn't. You just, How do you say sin in the... Hamartion. Right there. Hamartion. Hamartion. Yeah. And see, because it's pointing to the right, which for me that means out, Hamartion. I let the H out. Hamartion. 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 Stress on the I. Hamartion. 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 But see how that's kind of hard to pronounce? Yeah. Many times you you hear them use an E. Hamartion. Hamartion. Because it's hard to stress tit. Hamartit on. Hamartion. So although technically it's it, many times you'll hear it pronounced. Hamartion. Hamartiology. The study of sin. Yeah. Okay. Before, I can't quite make that, but it looks like Priotos. Priotos means before. And I'm going to scroll up. Because I want you to see. Look at all of this is from that one word. Because all I've said. I know. On air. On air. Can't say that. Fan air. Fan air. And I think that's it. Fan air. Can't quite make it out. But it means he might be manifested. And then here's Baptizon. Again, baptizing. Udate, water, baptizing. Udate. I tell you, the English word is hard to read there is the, is the Greek. Yeah. And you think we'd have a little bit of an advantage. We know. So, but you're starting to recognize some of the words. Yeah. And that's why for about three years, three or four years, whenever Pastor Warnicke preached, I had my Greek English mm. New Testament open. He'd be reading the King James. I'd be making myself in my mind say the Greek. And then I could also see the literal translation under it oh, cool. while he was reading that. Yeah. And because the, the best way to, to learn it is use it. Oh, yeah. If you don't, you lose it. And that's what you're doing now. You're using it. Uh, when we first started this class, would you have had any idea what any of that means? No. Or even how to pronounce the words? No. Yeah. Still no. <laughs> uh, actually, you're More doing better than you did. think you are. More than we did. You're doing better than you think you are. Oh, and compared to when you, compared to the first night we got here, <laughs> you come a long way, lady. All right, mister. <laughs> That was an old commercial. 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 It came a long way, lady. Yeah. Baby. And I used to laugh at those because she'd be smoking a cigarette. Oh, you come a long way, yeah. Baby. You come a long way, lady. I thought, yeah, you come a long way, all right, when you're coughing your guts out and dying. Baby. Baby. Yeah, you come a long way, baby. That's what it was. Okay, so the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him. And saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. 
This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. Ooh, that has a little bit to what we were studying about nice Sunday night, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's preferred before me because he was before me. And I knew him not. But I can't. <laughs> not but. But that he but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. Baptizon. Baptizon. But it's not baptizing with water, it's water baptizing. It's water baptizing. What are you doing? Hey, we've got another hour again. No, no, we don't. We don't have a third class tonight. So, All right, so you had enough for tonight? But I just want you to see, you're kind, you're coming along better than you think you are. Yeah. You really are. Even Daniel, I understand what you're saying, you know. But, but, is it? It's exciting. Are you really assessing your own progress? Probably not. <laughs> or are you assessing? I don't want to do this. I'm assessing the lack of it. Oh, 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 the lack of progress. We're trying to drag you along. So you're 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 coming along better than you think. Baptism, baptism, baptizing. Thank you all for your patience. Okay. Any other questions or comments? I. That's all right. You know. Uh, in fact, in the Greek, when it says no man, Jesus said, "No man cometh unto me, but the Father draw him." Yes. That literally in English means to drag you. Yeah. That literal. It applies to me. It's like it's like it's like a a mule drawing a load. What's he doing? He's dragging it along as he goes. All right. A mule drawing. So. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be dragging a load along. That means he's drawing the wagon. Yeah, that's the way they used to say it. The mule is drawing the wagon to town. It means he's dragging it along behind him. That's that's actually proper. Yeah. But the reason they use the word draw than drag is because drawing doesn't have the I'm resisting yes. and being dragged by yeah. the skin of the bottom of my feet. So you don't have that implication. And, yeah, and that's not the way the Holy Spirit <laughs> drags us along. He's really drawing us along. Right. Well, the word says, draw an eye to me. So yeah. does that drag yourself to him? No, because that's a different usage of the same word. Okay. To draw nigh means to come close. Come close. But drawing, doesn't it have a connotation of coming along? Well, but when you get into the Greek, it'll make more sense. Well, a couple of days without a shower, you draw flies. Yeah. yeah. So does that mean does that mean does that mean you rope the flies and draw them along? That means you're causing them to come, draw, to come along, to come along. Dad used to say, "I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I can draw flies." Okay. So I think you all had enough for tonight. All right. Okay, Brother Spillman, would you dismiss us in prayer, please? Father, thank you for the day you've given us. We thank you, Father, that we can maintain a sense of humor as we study. And, and Father, we thank you for giving us your word in both languages. Father, we just pray that this would clarify for us what it is that you really meant and uh, not what some other man told us. And Father, we thank you for, again, for the school, for the college, for our church, for our pastor and our teachers. And Father, we just pray that you'd bless the, these classes to our hearts and protect us as we go home. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you all for showing up. Otherwise, people look at me funny for talking to myself.